Earth Sermon talks about back in the day when they used to go on tour and go to different cities. They used to go to the clubs at the cities that they was touring at. And the guys that was the locals there, they would have problems with them. And he would break it down how basically they would just have problems. And here's one instance when he was in the Carolinas and the guys, you know, they got with him. And this involved, you know, special ed. Listen to the Eric Sermon as he breaks it down. Check it out. We was in, in Carolina and so I forgot them. The, them boys was not playing. Well, my man walked into a club. It was me and Special Ed went to a club. You know, we in, we in they in they club, mm -hmm. and Special Ed walked by, and niggas like, "Ain't no stars in here." You know, niggas want to flash money the whole night. Yeah, whatever. Mm -hmm. So, me and my man walked in afterwards too, and he was still talking. My man hit him, and the gun fell. But it was like the gun was moving fast towards the back. <laughs> so, so, so it was moving. It was just feet. <laughs> so, so we tried to go get it. Right. But it kept like, it was like some movie, like it kept going. <laughs> so, so, so now we got to so run back out. Right. Mm -hmm. And they busting. Now, me, I'm about 30 pounds lighter than this. I'm running. I jump in the ditch. Yo, I'm, I don't know how. My man is fast. I'm neck and neck with it. Like, yo, I jump in a ditch. D didn't get hurt like that. So by the time it got messed up, like Eric, I'm like, yo, I'm down here. <laughs> yeah. yo, so, so, so the next, so we get out. Uh, we by the highway. Some girl takes us back to the hotel. Big Daddy Kane comes. He had this dude named Terminator for, with him from Brooklyn. So, and he's like, yo, when to go back? I'm like, the interviews are going back, you know, because it's over now, you know? Yeah. But, um, but, but, you know, those are the things where people don't think back then because there was no cameras the whole now, but it was a lot of them. Yeah, this is very true because this was during a time when there was no social media, no camera phones, man, it was barely camcorders back in that time. So it's like a lot of things went on that people just don't know. So it's a lot of stories that aren't told because it wasn't really documented visually, like everything is documented today. But man, it was a time to be alive back in the days of the golden age of hip hop, which is around that 1988 era. So, you know, you had all these guys out, they were starting to get to the bread. And one thing, you know, they was, they was doing their thing. Like, share, subscribe, we out.